What is up, LEGO gang? Nicole here, back at it again for another video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new LEGO Transformers Bumblebee. Now, every once in a while, I will hear a rumor, or in this case, a lot of people will tell me about a rumor of a LEGO set that's coming out in the coming year. And for me, when I heard about the possibility of a LEGO Transformers Bumblebee, I lost my mind. But I lost my mind even more so when I learned that it was going to be G1. I grew up watching the 1984 Transformers TV show every Saturday morning on reruns and that show just shaped my childhood in so many ways and not only that I also grew up watching the 1986 Transformers movie which is incredible if you haven't seen it Lego please make a Grimlock but for me G1 Transformers is absolutely incredible I can't disrespect Michael Bay but I just will take G1 over Michael Bay any day any day. This set was especially exciting for me to hear about and even more so when it was offered to me through the LEGO Ambassador Network. I maybe told Lan that I really wanted this set if it was to come out. So yes, this set was provided to me from the LEGO Ambassador Network, but all thoughts and opinions on this are my own. So I will be reviewing this set as both a Transformers fan and a LEGO fan, so sometimes my opinions might like contradict as I try to navigate looking at this from a Lego perspective while also looking at this from a G1 perspective. I'm trying to look at this set in an all-encompassing way. I hope you can appreciate it. Before we get started, please be sure to like and subscribe to my tiny itty bitty little tiny uh, minuscule channel. It means a lot and I would love to have you around. The Lego Transformers Bumblebee will be releasing on July 1st, 2024 with 950 pieces retailing for 90 US dollars. And just like the Optimus Prime set from a few years ago, this will also transform. And this is a special collaboration between Lego and Hasbro. Inside the box, you'll find the instruction booklet, which will give you some special information about the set before you start building. As as well as a little tidbit on the set designer who was actually the same set designer for the Optimus Prime set. When you finish the set you get Bumblebee in his car version which is the VW Bug unlike the Optimus Prime set that gives you the finished Autobot. So we're gonna take a look at the car version of Bumblebee first. So as someone who grew up with Transformers toys, I understand that when you have a transforming toy, it's not going to all fit together as smoothly as maybe a solid car model would. So while a lot of Transformers fans may not find much fault in this design, I can see how some Lego builders may find that this looks a bit disorganized and disheveled. Especially when comparing this to the Lego Creator Expert VW from a couple years ago, which looks incredibly smooth and accurate, but again, that is a solid model that is not going to be transforming into an Autobot, so we have to give it some leeway here. Now this set only comes with five stickers and most of them are found on the bumper. There are two bumper stickers, I Love Cybertron and Roll Out, an ode to Optimus Prime. Additionally, this set comes with two stickered license plates, which are references to the 1984 cartoon, and if you'd like, you can definitely switch them out. I also prefer the Gold Bug license plate, but that is just me. I especially appreciate that you can pop open the trunk and say hi to Bumblebee. LEGO also included a fun little Easter egg where they actually hid a tiny printed Bumblebee in the windshield. Now in comparing vehicle mode between Optimus Prime and Bumblebee, this is one of the few times that I will mention scaling issues just for accuracy purposes. Bumblebee is supposed to be proportionally a lot smaller than Optimus Prime. Now I'm more than happy to have a bigger model with more detail, but it just does seem like he is way bigger than he probably should be. So even though they're not accurate, I actually really do like how these models look next to each other, so I don't mind. So now let's talk about Autobot Bumblebee. The instruction manual includes a multi-step process on how to transform him and it is a pain in the bot. I always felt like Optimus Prime was relatively easy to transform, but I have tried transforming Bumblebee 12 times and every time I do have issues, so I decided to do a side-by-side -side transforming both Optimus and Bumblebee in the same frame. So I will say that these videos are in five times the speed and Optimus Prime was transformed in real time in under a minute and a half without instructions. And mind you, I haven't transformed him in about two years, but Bumblebee, 
Wow, this took a lot longer than I thought. I think in about real time, this took about 20 minutes, but I only had about 10 minutes of footage because every time I tried transforming him, pieces fell off, so I would have to pause the video in order to put the pieces back on and try to like put him back together at various points. But you can just see here just how complicated he is to transform. I at first thought it was maybe me, but in transforming him over and over and over for the video and for my Instagram footage, I just kind of realized that maybe it's not me and maybe he just does require a little more work and love than maybe Optimus does. But this is saying something because I've had Transformers my entire life and this was one of the most hardest Transformers to transform in my entire life. And I'm just talking here and he's still not done. And I'm just still talking just to talk, but he's almost done. Just his little wings. Okay, now he's done. <laughs> So looking at this model from a transformer standpoint, especially G1, like the Lego version definitely doesn't skip arm day. His biceps, I think they're biceps, they're huge. Um, and his back looks a little strange, but overall he does have some posability, but it's very limited. And I do have to remind myself that this is not a toy. I mean, Lego is a toy, but this is definitely not meant to be really played with. This is most certainly a display piece and I think that because of the brick restrictions and because of some limitations with pieces he has to look this way in order to transform him exactly into a VW so I can understand why he looks the way that he does. But most certainly some of the biggest pros are the printed Autobot tiles as well as the printed legs. And I think that the printed pieces used for his face look amazing. So definitely yay Lego. I love this. So how does he stand up against his buddy Optimus Prime? Well, on Cybertron and Earth and now in LEGO World, these two are meant to be friends and now they can be friends together with matching plaques on display. Um, just like Optimus Prime, Bumblebee's plaque is stickered. And now I just realized that Optimus Prime's head's a little bit messed up, but you know, we're gonna roll with it. Roll out, maybe. But as I mentioned before with scaling, Bumblebee is supposed to be significantly smaller than Optimus. So here you can see that he's just like a shoulder smaller. And again, for display purposes, I really don't mind. It doesn't need to be completely in scale. But these two sets are definitely going to complement each other very, very well. So despite some of the complaints that I have about this set, I do think that this is absolutely worth the price point. Optimus Prime had over 500 pieces more than this one and is double the price. You are definitely getting a great deal for the Transformers Bumblebee. So seeing that this set is extremely frustrating to transform, I wasn't initially going to buy a second set to have it in his vehicle form because I wanted to keep him in his Autobot form. I just think that the Autobot form looks a little bit better. But now I think I might buy a second copy because I just do not enjoy transforming this set at all. So thanks Lego, I will be spending double the money so that I don't have to transform this ever again. So this wraps up my review of the Lego G1 Transformers Bumblebee, but leave me a comment below. Let me know how you think Lego did with this model and what Transformer you'd like to see them do next. I'm definitely team Grimlock because he is king. Grimlock no bozo, me king! But yes, let me know if you plan on picking up this set and I will see you guys next time. Bye!